Four minutes to spam it was a sad moment in K-pop history, but to this day, people are still curious about what really happened. Was it because the members wanted to go their separate ways, or were they actually feuding with each other? And if so, are they still friends? Four Minute were a group under Cube Entertainment that debuted in June of 2009 with the single Hot Issue. They were a hit instantly, as people loved their girl crush image and experimental sound. The group continued releasing hits such as Volume Up, What's Your Name, Crazy, and What You Doing Today, building quite a name for themselves among the other K-pop acts that were active in the same year. There were some issues with inappropriate lyrics and dances and even plagiarism accusations, but they still rose to the top. In early 2016, they came back with a track in collaboration with Skrillex titled Hey, which wasn't very liked by Korean netizens, but turned out to be very popular with K-pop's international fan base. Even though fans believed that this would finally launch the group into stardom, unfortunately, it was the final song that 4Minute would ever perform as a group. Around the same time that the song was released, rumors started circulating around that the group was heading towards disbandment, especially since their contracts were about to expire soon. But since there wasn't any confirmation, nobody could say anything for sure. The rumors turned out to be true, as on June 12th of 2016, Cube Entertainment confirmed that 4Minute had disbanded through an official announcement a few days before the anniversary of their debut. The statement explained that the four members that decided to leave the group and the company wanted to do so because they wanted to pursue their solo careers. The statement said, Jihyun, Gaiyun, Ji and Solihyun's exclusive contracts ended on June 14th, and the four have left Cube. We had long negotiations concerning the four members resigning, and at the end of the mediation, it was decided that they would not resign. What stood out to fans was that Hyuna was the only member who had decided to remain under the management of Cube Entertainment. Cube even tried to convince the public that they had attempted to persuade the departing members to resign. They said, Though the company tried to persuade them to renew their contract as a group, all five members said that they could not promote as a group anymore. Therefore, Cube respected their wishes. However, the truth was not as simple as that. It was reported that the other members of 4Minute were interested to resign with Cube Entertainment, but then their contracts expired and they found out about their disbandment through the media. ji 4Minute's former member said, Even before we started thinking about the individual paths we wanted to take, our contracts ended and it was pretty chaotic. Honestly, it felt like we were finding out about our disbandment through the reports. She went on to say that they weren't thinking about disbanding, but then the members saw the reports of disbandment and thought, ah, so that's what happened, and started tidying their things up. Dion also said that she felt bad for the members because there hadn't been any talks of disbandment prior to the news. She felt worse because while the group was promoting, Dion thought that they didn't have any kind of content that the fans would have liked. At first, the report said that the reason for their disbandment was simple, money. An entertainment expert told the Korean news outlet Sports World that the higher-ups felt like they weren't making enough money as a group, so they had no reason to continue promoting them. However, the report said that the Cube Entertainment Entertainment personnel were convinced that the group wouldn't disband if Cube was in control of the CEO and co-founder of the company, Hong Sung Song, and not IHQ, who was the biggest shareholder of Cube. Despite this explanation, fans believe that the reason for their disband meant to be something else entirely. After the group's disbandment, netizens put the blame entirely on Cube Entertainment and none other than Hyuna. During the years that the group was active, it was obvious that Hyuna overshadowed her fellow 4Minute members when it came to popularity. Even when the public found out about Cube Entertainment's plans to debut a girl group with Hyuna as a member, the group was unofficially called the Hyuna Group. Even though they didn't gain their popularity back then because of her, when she started releasing music as a soloist, her popularity overshadowed the entire group. Two years after 4Minute made their debut, Hyuna hit the stage as a soloist with Bubble Pop and made a lot of noise as a soloist. She was quite popular individually even before her solo debut, but she really blew up with Bubble Pop. During the time that she was in 4Minute, she released other hit songs like Ice Cream and Red, and her popularity reached a point where she was known as a soloist more than a 4Minute member. In fact, some netizens claimed that even though 4Minute had been in the industry for some time and had their fair share of hits, the only member that they can name from the group was Hyuna. Because of this, fans came to the conclusion that Cube Entertainment disbanded 4Minute because they wanted to promote Hyuna more as a soloist without her also being dragged down by the group promotions. The theory made sense, but to fans, this meant that the girls weren't on the best of terms with each other and they had given no indication of that whatsoever. Well, until the semi-public feud started. After the group's disbandment, the four members of 4Minute shocked the fans once they discovered that they all unfollowed Hyuna on Instagram. This made the fans believe that the members were feuding with Hyuna, but then they discovered that it was actually Hyuna who unfollowed the members first, not vice versa. A netizen wrote, I thought they ended things cleanly, but they're being so childish now, so disappointed. Another said, whether they have a bad relationship now or they suddenly hate Hyuna, this just seems disrespectful to their fans. So Hyuna 
also deleted all of her pictures with Hyuna on her Instagram, which fueled the feuding rumors even more. Things turned around for a bit when in July of 2016, Hyuna made her comeback with Awesome and its title track How's This, which hit the top of the charts. This made the media run off with the narrative that Hyuna didn't need her band members to stay successful and relevant. A month after the comeback, an episode of NBC Everyone's Hyuna X19 revealed Hyuna's true feelings regarding the disbandment. The episode takes place back on July 29th when Hyuna was asked about four minutes disbandment at a press conference for her solo comeback. While she gave professional answers, she looked very upset as she returned backstage, saying that she hates the word disbandment. She also expressed that people are basically asking her if she's happy that she's going solo, to which she responds, Of course not. How can I do only what I want to do? It's not something I can decide by myself, and it upsets me that those types of things get consumed so easily. She also shared that she felt concerned for her fellow members since they didn't have the chance to talk about the situation yet. She even said at the end, the members will hate me after seeing this interview. And based on later events, it seemed like the members didn't have any interest to discuss the disbandment with her. On top of the members unfollowing Hyuna and her unfollowing them, they also kept reuniting without her. The members got together to celebrate the group's 10th anniversary, but fans couldn't help but notice that Hyuna was missing from the picture. Whether they didn't invite her or she didn't want to join the members herself, that's unknown. So the public remained convinced that the members held a grudge against Hyuna for her popularity, but the members try to convince them otherwise. In August of 2020, Jiyoon, who now goes by Jenyer, spoke about the group in an interview, saying that there were no bad feelings between the members. She revealed that they haven't been contacting each other often, but during the time that 4 Minute were promoting, they had never fought, had any disagreements, or any hostility towards each other. Even though the song that she was promoting at the time, Bad, had themes of discord, she said that the song had nothing to do with the rumors that the 4 Minute members were feuding. Nam Jihyun also supported Jiyoon's statement that the members got along. In May of this year, she did an interview with My Daily News where she was asked about whether the members still keep in touch. To that, Jihyun replied, Yeah, we're still good friends with each other. Every time we hang out together, we get excited. It's like meeting old school friends. She went on to say, When we met, we would spend a lot of time talking about the past. We were like, Do you remember that time? Wasn't that great? And so on. We are also very supportive of each other. Fans were thankful for the members taking the time to clear things up because at this point, the only thing most people remember about four minute was their supposed feud. So with the members speaking out about it, it's clear that the members hold no disdain towards each other, but aren't as close as they used to be, which is normal. Since they've all gone their separate ways as solo artists, actresses, and entrepreneurs, they won't be able to keep up with each other, let alone hang out. However, some fans believe that the members got back in contact after Hyuna left Cube Entertainment and have started talking ever since. A few of them even think that a reunion could happen sometime in the future, especially since these past few years, second generation girl groups have made a comeback to the K-pop scene. Who knows, because at this point, nothing seems impossible. Whatever happens, let's support all of the members in their respective fields. To read more interesting stories about your favorite K-pop groups, check out our website at cookielit.com. I'll see you next time. Bye!